I have been at MDIC for, I think, almost six years now. I started out in one of the other initiatives and then I moved over to Case for Quality Collaborative Community. One of the best decisions ever. Um, we have some really cool programs there and I've been there ever since. So the Voluntary Improvement Program is one of the programs that I spearhead, I guess you can say, along with Paul. For me, I've been at MDIC a little bit over two years. So I've had the pleasure of working with this consummate professional for a little over two years with MDIC. <laughs> what we do in the Case for Quality Collaborative Community is we actually convene mm -hmm. stakeholders from the healthcare ecosystem, uh, regulators, um, patient healthcare providers, third-party collaborators like ISACA, for example, um, as well as uh, medical device manufacturing companies. And what we do is we bring them all to the table in a, a safe space where we can have open and transparent conversations related to challenges um, that regulators or the medical device community are facing um, and then we try to address them through a number of different MDIC or Case for Quality program initiatives. CMMI is literally the proven framework that the, VI, the VIP program is pretty much uh, modeled around and so it has a very intricate role in what we do and how that working group and so forth is run. What is the VIP program? Um, it is a program that was uh, envisioned and uh, formally supported by the FDA to, uh, to address how do we get companies to, to really focus on higher quality, developing culture, right? So if you think about continuing, uh, continuous improvement, this program, because it is supported, FDA initiated a guidance document last year saying, hey, enroll into this program because if you do, we feel better about you as a medical device company because you're showing a commitment to moving that through that journey to the higher level, right? They can actually say, yes, hey, we feel confident in your organization and because of that, we are going to extend regulatory flexibilities, okay, which you can benefit from that companies otherwise wouldn't be able to benefit. It's taking you from the baseline approach of compliance to the continuous improvement journey, and it's going to affect the entire ecosystem of what you do. At the end, it affects everyone, right? It affects patients. And so one thing that the voluntary improvement program does, I think you get to see where it's all of these touch points at every point of your journey. So from manufacturers to patients to the point of conception to sites, it affects all of those things. And so who wouldn't want to be a part of something that has this very crucial benefit on the end and affects people, you know, anyone? VIP takes quality to that next level. So compliance with the law is is a windfall. You've got to do it. I mean, there's no question, right? The ultimate benefit to that and the, the results that we've seen from participants um, really implementing the CMMI appraisal model through this program are, for example, a 97% reduction in the number of complaints from customers per million right? Um, moving resources, internal operational resources, employees, that normally would be devoted to preparing for FDA inspections because the model uses less, you're not preparing for an inspection, they're able to move those resources into areas to become more proactive and preventive, which is fantastic. This is an opportunity for all the stakeholders to get together in those open conversations and FDA is at the table and they you know that this is really and that's the unique attribute about what we do.